We are live in three, two, one. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I think I might keep the first bit into it. Playing that. So, second part. <laughs> St. Anne's Old Links on a beautiful, very cold evening. Uh, playing stroke play. First vlog in ages. Seems like mm. I'm level. Rick's two. Yeah, I've just dropped a couple of silly shots, so I'm two over now. A couple of par fives in a row, and this is a a beast. This is a real beast. It's a 550 yards off this tee. Uh, wind strong, strong, strong off the left and all out of bounds down the right. <laughs> Yay! Woo! So, yeah, this is our first real course log since Quest for the Open begun. Um, we'll try and do more, guys. It's just that we've been playing a lot more and struggling to film. Uh, hopefully, you've been keeping up to date with the uh, rounds that we've been doing. But courses like this, we can play in the winter, so... We can. We will see. Right. We'll driver, be here a lot. Left-hand side of the fairway, this wind will move it round. It has to. <laughs> it has to. I might go for a bit of a lower one, try and keep it out of the wind a bit. Yeah, beauty. If it skirts past that bunker, it's big. Yeah. Nice shot. Thank you very much. So on to it. So the last few days, we've had a couple of rounds that, well, we just managed to squeeze in, not managed to film, but Rick has, these last two holes driver-wise, yeah. suits, suits your new shape. Looks like a nuclear bomb's gone off on the left-hand side of the course. <laughs> ah, that's the sun, folks. Yeah, great looking shot. Tell me where it's coming down. Right. Well played. Birdie time. Come on. So it's just found the right hand rough here, semi, not too deep. Green all the way up there, still 250 yards away. Yeah, we've played this a couple of different ways so far and we've never cracked it yet. No, not yet. So it's, uh, I'm going to go with the layup. Layup? Because it gets very, very tight down. Yeah. It's not great. Layups are about 200 yards. Okay. Aim at the big one. Aim at the big one. It's a joke in this one. Awesome fly. Awesome fly, mate. Perfect layup. Yeah, Very good. Very good. I think you've cracked this off. Dun dun dun! He's back. We ready? You ready, guys? It's a Peter Finch one iron show. <laughs> Brought to you by Mizuno one iron. Here we go. One Iron Corporation. It's a very small branch of the company. Actually. It's a very small bloody head. Uh, right, so. He's got the one iron out. Are you going for it? So if you, well, hopefully you heard that. He said he might not reach, but if he catches it well, he's got a chance. If he doesn't, it's not going to be too much danger. When in doubt, you always go for your one iron. That's the rule. So. Out of bounds. It really went out. You better hit another one. He's in line with the tower. Hey, hold on, I'm alright, I've cracked it. <laughs> it's annoying, that. That's ringing his very He dropped it very close to you, didn't he? Right. Take two, so this is now provisional I'm guessing. If not, it's going to be the fourth shot. It's a wind, now it's 
stayed on the line in the big one. Oh, yeah, bounced. Safe. Came back in <laughs> oh, It was always going to go so left. We found Pete's it. ball. On that nice patch of grass, that alright? I think it's still in. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's out of bounds. Out of town. So he's actually found the piece of uh, grass which they obviously use, the greenkeepers use for cutoffs. Ah, that sucks, man. So, Rick, with a perfect layup. It's okay, the shot's gone, can't do anything about it. What you got here, mate? Uh, I guess we're aiming a little bit left. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Need just a wee bit more than to. Second or second shot from the players, ended up here just on this left side. He's got this to contend with. So I've just got to land it over that bunker and let it run off. Yeah. Up and down for a six. They've been amazing up and down for a six. We've seen you do marbles before, Pete. Let's do it again. For five. That's it. You literally couldn't have done any better. No, there. no, no like way it. on God's earth. Nice shot. So Rick with a chance for a birdie. Well, the moon looks on. So it's kind of straight up the green here, but. Now to me this looks like a straight putt, but <laughs> it's, got a factor in this it's got to come in a little bit. You would imagine so. So we'll see if he manages to judge it right. This time in Iowa should be seeing the wind drop a little bit, but he doesn't seem to be wanting to. Yeah, just a little bit of pace. Yeah. Par. At least it's a par on that hole, anyway. Well, yeah. It's probably the best we've done all week, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's a really tricky little hole, that. Okay, a real it's tricky pretty straight, one. but... Slightly from the right now. Slightly. I'll get it from this line, guys, so you can see it a bit better. Six, this is for seven. Well, I'm gonna hover my putter on this one, mate. Are we, are we calling <laughs> are we calling it unplayable? <laughs> I'm doing all my best to keep these cameras to seven. Ah, sting though, isn't it? Sting. We've still not quite figured out that hole yet. So, uh, both two over now. We've got another par five to come, which is a little bit more generous. Now, I know you shouldn't think you're heading around, but I really need some soup. And, and a cuddle. And a cuddle. <laughs> and a wee dram. So, par five. Um, 
as is kind of normal on this course there's just bunkers absolutely everywhere uh wind hard off the right so just aim right and launch it whoa oh. sit 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 that could be heading off down the previous hole to be honest, if he's got that, if he's got far enough, it's probably same not the end of the world. Yeah, same difference back into the green, isn't it, really? Yeah, I kind of went for one then. Feeling like I needed to, to start making a bit of a charge, making some birds. A few holes left to play. We're going to play, uh, try to play nine. See how the light. See if it's friendly. It's just starting to sink over the uh, dunes out there at the moment. Mega low. It's down that line. Really not ideal for filming. Really not ideal for filming. Pete, I thought you were going to come left with me, yeah? <laughs> and Pete doing some more flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Straight between the two bunkers on an uphill. <laughs> so, literally, green's over there. So there's the... Uh, there's the pin just there, the one that's on the left, and Pete's literally going to aim at the clubhouse over there. 260, 70 yards. Oh no. <laughs> so that ball didn't come back. Yeah. That ball's down there. Okay. It's probably findable. Often it happens when you hit it. Yeah. Slightly unbalanced. So I've just driven down a little bit. I'll try and get a rig as he hits this. Let's be honest. Try and keep it steady for you guys. And I'll flip around. And see what happens. idea where it's gone guys, no idea at all. Presume the best focusing around. Uh, didn't see it bounce but I'm looking in the range finder, who knows? He's running happily so presume the best. Well I was giving Rick the benefit of the doubt but He's okay, he's just on top of the hill here. So I aimed mine at the, at the club house. <laughs> you didn't tow yours then? No, I didn't. Or did you, did you hit a little bit more in tow? Have you got a sandwich? Yeah, I'm just going to fit it in there. Fit it in there. Not bad. Uh, 16 feet or so. Chance for a bird. Okay, it's now got absolutely freezing, windy, not particularly pleasant. <laughs> uh, we found Pete's in the wispy stuff. Uh, he's got quite a tricky little shock, so he's got to go over this bunker and stop it instantly. Oh, yeah, no, with wind stopping. strongly off the right. The target's the moon. Said no, said nobody ever. The target is the moon. Let's see if I can show you that target is the moon. That ball moved so far, you started it right side of the moon and it missed it left. <laughs> Went around the moon, yeah? Right, well somehow, we've got these for birdie. <laughs> After all the trials and tribulations. Um, Pete's at the front pin is just there, coming into shot now on the left. And I'm pretty much where I'm stood, the ball. Let me see it. So both outside chances, but chances nevertheless. Right. 
It's hard to commit, isn't it? So hard, isn't it, just to actually hit it. So hard to actually hit it and know that you're relying on wind to bring a putt in. It ain't natural. <laughs> it ain't natural. It ain't natural, kids. Right, um, well this normally looks straight. But... It's, it's, it's out here somewhere. Well, not quite, but... <laughs> oh my God, my ears are freezing. All right, come on, for bed. Let's get a chance. Come in, come in. No, stop! Oh. <laughs> no, stop! I don't like it. I should have always in this left. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. Links, eh? Can we not do something different? Can we do, like, quest for a parkland course or something? <laughs> Yeah, can we do like Quest for the British Masters or something? <laughs> Which coincidentally we're actually playing in the Pro-Am of. Well, you know, it was a subtle drop, but... So yeah, me in a couple of weeks, myself and Pete are playing in the Pro-Am for the British Masters at Woburn. Let's hope it's not windy. <laughs> I'm playing with uh, Tyrell Hatton and Pete's playing with Pete Uline. Pete Uline. So for par and to remain equal on score with myself at two over. Yeah, two over, right, we're going to play the next couple of holes and we might have to wrap it up a tiny bit early because it is getting cold and very, very, very dark. Yeah. Right, so it's getting super dark, super quick. So we've skipped a hole up onto the eighth now because we want to kind of get the ninth in. It's a cracking little pass three. Uh, this one's 360, straight down there is the hole, kind of dog legs a little bit from the right. Right again. But this is another aim a long way right and... Try and hook it in a bit. Well, don't hook it in, but let the wind come in. Okay. Yep, should we go? Say that. Yep. Pass the right hand side of the bunker. That's good. Thank you. I feel like I just still need to play a fade into that wind, which is an unusual one for me because in the past it would have been a, <laughs> a bog standard shot. But now I'm kind of uh, aiming straight and trying to almost fade it into that wind. So, uh, both still two over, two holes left to play. See if we can go birdie birdie finish. It's not reachable this, so I'm going to try and do a little bit what you did there. A little bit low punchy. Just try and hold it into the wind a bit. Oh, that's the best shot you've hit. Good ball flight. Oh, oh. No, it's miles down into that bunker. Great shot, perfect. Do well to get to that bunker today. Sorry, I didn't, I, <laughs> I didn't know how far down. So Rick's just found the left rough. It's getting dark here, but it looks amazing on the camera. <laughs> it looks cold, it looks steely. <laughs> well, it is cold. It is. There's not much protection around there, is it? It's very open. <laughs> so I'm going to um, just play a little low skippy 80 yard chip there. Just um, let it run the green. Yeah, let it run up the green. It's a long, long green this one. It should be me up actually, you know, kind of kept over. So it's Rick's ball first. Do you skippy thing. Just sit, sit. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ball! <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, so Pete's back in the fairway. Um, and so we actually thought mine was shorter than what it was, so we played mine first. Pete's got about 100 yards left in. We're off the fairway, great drive today. Um, and you've just seen the pin where we've been hitting it into. So I guess he's going to play the same idea as me. He's just got to really the best put into this pin is from the right. So if he can hold the ball to the right of this pin, he's done an amazing job and it gives him a good chance of bird. Oh yeah, just move 
move left, nice shot. Impossible to keep it to the right, but it is hard putts from where we are there. It really is. So we've got a couple of uh, birdie chances here. Kind of green slopes this way quite a lot. Uh, it's into wind and uphill, but this isn't a putt that you want to necessarily run past. So dropping in that. You, you really want to be that side of the pin, but it's so hard. Yeah. Kind of want to be a perfect position to be right there. Hold your line, hold your line, hold your line! Oh. <laughs> wow! You could, oh, <laughs> you could just, as soon as you hit it, you knew and just cigar. Again, a sign of the good greens here. You can just kind of see. Wow! Wow! Ouch! Ouch! I thought I had that. I thought I had that. Right, Pete for Bird. No, I'd say this is slightly off the left, but with this wind. Turn the lighting up, see if this works. Right for birdie. Good. <laughs> that was odd. <laughs> was that the wind that, that kicked that it left? That was a pull. Oh, uh, a, a pull? Ladies and gentlemen, that was a... Uh... That was a stone cold pull. Alright guys, last hole, a fantastic par 3, and we may be playing it under the lights of the clubhouse. <laughs> last hole, 180 yards. Pin is right at the back of this super long green, you can see the lights of the clubhouse there on. The members enjoying a nice uh, brew. I'm thinking, who are these crazy guys <laughs> Questions answered. So we've got to go fire vine both of us. I think we've both got the same plan. Just hold it up into the breeze a little bit. Yeah. Okay, well, let's make our dreams a reality then. You want to be hitting, I'll be no. honest with you, Pete. I felt it. Yeah, hopefully, I think everyone watching might have even felt it. If anyone is still watching at this point, <laughs> thanks for staying tuned. Hey yeah, guys, just go in and go and put your hand in a, a bucket of ice water and then just repeatedly. <laughs> that's, the, that's the feel I've just felt. Somehow, <laughs> it's doing its best, but it's. Uh, what did it? It might have gone on front edge. Right, guys, you might just see the uh, the longest ever put on YouTube because this is an absolute monster. So he's at the front of this green on the ninth, and the pin. I have to actually use the zoom. Is there? Do you intend it? Let me off I'll honestly the give you the benefit of the doubt. I think you'll have time to go up, walk there and take it out by the time it gets there. I'm actually just on that hill there, just over the bunker, so I'm going to be chipping. Uh, but it's Pete to play first, all the way to the back of that pin, that green. annoying. You've done it well, Twitter, too far. <laughs> you know what, that's my best stroke for today. <laughs> so, I think Rick kind of scurried up this hill, didn't I? Jumped up and came down, must have come down this like, little path thing. <laughs> so you got sand? Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, a sandwich, long chip up the green. Probably land it about halfway there, I think. That's pretty well judged. You know, sometimes your decent chip is better than my okay putt. <laughs> <laughs> In that circumstance, yeah. <laughs> oh dear, that was a monster. Right then. Too far chances. Too far chances. Let's give it a go. Let's keep this running, eh? Sorry for the Blair Witch documentary. <laughs> yeah. Camera work, but... You can uh, see the guys in the clubhouse just enjoying their lovely beverages, as me and Pete are dedicated to the cause. Quest for the Open. This is it, last put on the last green to get in the open. Yeah. <laughs> you went for it though. What? <laughs> you went for it. I kind of, my, my senses have gone a bit now. I should probably line this up properly. But... Yep, good three put. <laughs> not often you say that. Yeah, I kind of maybe not as focused as I should be on the last hole, but come on, let's get this in. Nice par. Oh god, it's been absolutely brutal out here. Things we've got to get used to, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, for all this hopes, so off the right slightly. Hold, hold. Few of them today. It will drop another day. Monday, hopefully. All right, guys, thanks very much for uh, watching. <laughs> that was good, that, mate. A bit of fun. Absolutely. It was a good game, that. So, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to both channels by clicking the links below. Thanks again to our new second home, St. Anne's Old Links. The course is looking unbelievably good uh, for this time of year. I'd say you'd be struggling to find a better course than this anywhere in the world. Um, this time of year. <laughs> so yeah, interesting kind of game. I think we both finished three over there, uh, but in conditions that we need to learn to become better at. So yeah, absolutely. the more times we put ourselves in these situations, the better we'll become. See you soon, guys. Enjoy. Absolutely. Guys, Enjoy thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, not just night. Get some soup.